Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. Now, we last left off up here in the Glacial Trail. Down there was the entrance to the next area. This is still too loud, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Don't do that. That's not cool. Well, we're off to a pleasant start, aren't we? We are off to a magnificent start. And honestly, I mean that. That is an awesome start. <laughs> Something here. I can't carry anymore. Was that how it worked? Was it just three healing potions would give me a greater healing potion? Pretty sure. Maybe 
they haven't dropped three healing portions. I guess not. sure that's what it was, right? It was three healing potions to get a greater healing potion. I am overburdened. I guess we'll find out at some point. Potion just to check my theory to test my theory, I mean. Okay, I no, it wasn't. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Stay a while and listen. I think it was those and a gem, wasn't it? A chipped gem or something. Frozen Tundra we go. Uh, some of a different color over here. I think some of them look different. I am overburdened. Already? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Whoops. I knew there was no way I had already filled my inventory.
Okay, well. Things are going well so far. Looks like I'm gonna level up pretty fast, too. So. other minions. I, I was wondering, were those different minions or were those minions of the one that I had just killed? But they were different ones. No, I don't remember. Was there a waypoint out here? I hope so. I am overburdened. That's one of those ones I was trying to find before, isn't it? can guarantee that's one of the things I was trying to find before. Good day. Good afternoon. Yep. Berserker's hatchet. I had the headgear. the headgear for a while. In fact, isn't that the helmet I just got rid of recently? Well, that sucks. Oh well. Can't do anything about it now. Okay. <sighs> that was really weird the way the music just cut out like that. <laughs>
Well, I've actually thought about to make things go faster. I've thought about um, dropping the thing from having it set to four players and dropping it back to one. But I wouldn't gain I wouldn't gain enough experience to level up really at all then and also it wouldn't really make it that much faster. To be honest, it wouldn't go that much faster. Because it's not like it's taking me a long time to kill anything. If it was taking me forever to kill stuff, then yeah, I might drop it down there and speed things up. But I'm killing things pretty fast, so I think... I think I'll just keep it where it is. Honestly, what would it take one hit off of these imps? Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, they take one to two hits. It might make it so they only take one hit. That's really not that big of a difference. much easier way to make it go faster would be to not be using this shout on everything, but that's kind of become how I use this character, so... <laughs> something that wand in fact I'm almost certain it will be yep I can almost guarantee that's gonna be worth something thanks I think also at this point if I was to stop using this shout it would be a waste of putting all those skill points into it. <laughs> After I put all of those into it it would be a waste to just not use it now so kind of feel like I should use it. That's the way I built my character so... I mean, 
it doesn't take that long actually, but it would be faster if I wasn't doing that. Oh well. I'm really not one for doing stuff fast anyway. prefer to do things thoroughly, get it done, kill everything in the area, explore every corner, stuff like that, rather than just speed through it. So this is kind of more my style anyways to do this. Occasionally, I leave stuff behind. Occasionally, I'll leave stuff behind, but usually I tend to try to take care of everything. That's what happens when you're sick. <laughs> oh, when I'm sick, I always get tired. Don't know if that's for everybody, but I know for me that's that's the case. coming. Let's go with that. And let's go explore this place. I'm not going for anything, any particular build. I think I've mentioned that already. I'm not really going for any particular build with this character. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I tend to do that a lot with Diablo. Or I might kind of base something off of a build and then just kind of alter it a bit to alter it to my liking. I do that more with Diablo 3. With Diablo 2, I kind of always just made it up as I went along. And I usually seem to work out pretty fine, but... But not always. I can't carry anymore. Ooh. Of 
corpse after I got rid of that war hammer. That wasn't gonna help me anyways, though. Still kind of sucks though, because I was holding on to it, waiting for that, and then I just got rid of it. What was that, just the last episode? I just got rid of it, and now I find the gem. Maybe it was the episode before, I don't know. Still. I am overburdened. But as I said, it wasn't going to help me anyway, so... I don't know why I'm making a big deal out of it. Okay. Good to see you. <sighs> How may I be of help? I do apologize for my voice and the sniffing, sniffling and everything. I'm just, I'm not feeling well. Hopefully I'll be better soon, but only time will tell. So, let's, let's get this place done with so I can get back out to the frozen tundra and hopefully finish that up. Blood Boss, that's just a weird name. I think I ended up moving my monitor or something because I seem to be facing sideways a bit more than I was and I'm starting to feel it in my neck. So I'll have to fix that after a bit. Because it definitely seems like I'm... like I'm looking to the side more than I was. As I said, I could feel it in my neck. Maybe it's my chair. I'll have to see. I'll figure it out. My chair might have moved over a bit or something. Wouldn't be surprising if it was the chair. I mean, it is, uh... It is on wheels, so... Wouldn't be that difficult for it to happen. I just know I've been noticing in the past couple of days, it seems like I'm looking over to the side more. Oh, jeez. 
this is I didn't even notice that. Well my mercenary's dead. Tough, aren't you? Of course, you're. Oh, no, you're stone skin, aren't you? I think it says stone skin. Devil may get the dead. Again, a very original name. Twelve thousand six hundred. We're up to. Damn. Okay. Let's go and take this guy out. Yeah, the ones with stone skin, it seems like the heavier hitting attacks like bash and concentrate and stuff like that are better for those. Even with my paladin, it seems like my... when I'm hitting really fast, it seems like hitting them harder is the better option. Rather than hitting them with weaker attacks more rapidly. Seems to kill them faster if I hit them with harder attacks. Is that all of those fuckers now? I hope so. Yeah, those guys can be tough. Those things can be tougher than hell when you run into the ones with the minions. One second, I gotta get more comfortable. Yeah, and something, I don't think I've mentioned it before, with those, with those suicide minions that explode on you like that. Um, 
they will damage you if they explode on you, but they also explode if you kill them. And it doesn't seem like, and it seems like if you kill them and they explode, it doesn't seem like you take damage from the explosion. I can't guarantee that, but that's the way it seems. Like, if they just come running up and explode, yes, you take the damage. But if you kill them and then they explode, it doesn't seem like you take damage. Again, I can't guarantee that. That's just what it seems like from my experience. Okay, looks like we're almost done in this area. Because that's our platform with the chest right there, isn't it? Yeah, that whirlwind definitely works for taking things out quick like that. When it's weaker enemies like that and there's a big group of them, whirlwind definitely works on that. I haven't used whirlwind much in Diablo 2, so I'm kind of learning a bit as I use it here. I am overburdened. Oh boy. So yeah, I'm kind of learning a bit with some of these skills as I go along, because I haven't used all of these. If I was using something like a druid or something, then I'd be learning the whole... It would be a learning experience the whole time. Because I've barely ever used them. I've maybe reached level 15 with a druid at the highest. I've never actually used them that much. Yeah, there is a waypoint on the frozen tundra, so that's good. I thought there was, but I wasn't certain. Hmm. 
That's just weird. The way you just hang in the air like that. And it doesn't always happen either. It's just sometimes you seem to just hang in the air forever when you use leap. hat. I finally started finding those. That's what a war hat is. It's the exceptional version of a... What was it? Just a cap or whatever they were called. I don't remember. That's one thing I hate about when I get sick, it it always lasts forever too. Or it seems to. Might not actually last that long, but it seems like I'm sick forever when I do get sick. Like, it's never something that's just over in a couple of days or anything like that. I'm I get a cold, I'm down for like a week or longer. <laughs> And it just sucks. I'm hoping that's all this is, is just a cold. Because if it's a flu, then I'm in big trouble. I am overburdened. Not quite sure what it is yet. If that had been that Berserker's headgear, I would have been so pissed. I would have been so pissed if that was Berserker's headgear after I just got rid of the weapon again. First time something like that has happened, though.
That's one thing I like about when they go up on the tower. If you kill them, if you destroy the tower with these imps on it, it these tower things, the imps get killed too. Whereas when they're on the crush beasts, if you kill the crush beast, you still gotta kill the imp afterwards. So I actually don't mind when they go up there, because it kills them. I think. It seems to. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It seems like it does anyway. Of course not. This time you might actually be telling the truth. Uh. Greetings. Okay, I don't have to identify anything. Well then, I'm getting a lot of gold, but then again, as I've mentioned, you always do once you start getting into this getting into Act 5, you usually do end up getting a lot more gold. Just because you get so many more items that are worth money. Because basically everything you find here is worth something. also run out of gold fast here too if you're not careful. Like if your mercenary dies and you're resurrecting him a lot, you'll run out of gold faster than you faster than you can even realize it. Especially when you get farther into the difficulties when it's up to like 50,000 gold to resurrect him and shit, it's just crazy. It's like at that point, there's been times where it gets to that point and I'm just like, you know what, I'm better off without a mercenary then. Because <laughs> I can't afford to keep resurrecting it. I mean, I'm, I'm better off to have one, but I can't afford to have one sometimes at that point. this place up pretty quick here. I'm finding a lot more runes than I was, too. Which is good. Runes are helpful. Sometimes. Not always. I am 
Oh, let's hope I didn't miss the waypoint back there somewhere. Wouldn't be the first time I've done that. I missed it somehow and had to go back going through the entire area just to find it. <laughs> That's not fun when you have to backtrack through an entire area just to find the waypoint. Because you were rushing too much and missed it or something. I can't carry anymore. Saw some gold there, but then I kind of forgot about it for a minute. These things just take forever to kill, always, because there's so many of them and they teleport away from you. It just takes so long to finish them off. I mean, I suppose with like a sorceress or something, it probably wouldn't take as long. Because you have the range. You can kill them from range without having to chase them down. But for a barbarian and stuff, it can be, it can take a while, because you gotta chase them all down. Knowing my luck, I've probably missed the waypoint somewhere. Wouldn't surprise me. I've been trying to be careful about it, but I am overburdened. That's not what I thought it was anyway. I saw the K fast and I thought it said key. edge of the area, so unless the waypoint is right over there, I missed it somewhere. That's not what I wanted to grab. Good thing is I it won't take too terribly long to find the waypoint because there shouldn't be many enemies out there left. That's where we're going next, the Ancient's Way. Knowing my 
throwing my luck the waypoints way on the other end of this place. That wouldn't surprise me. It's way down on the other end, so I'll just have to fight through this entire place again in the next episode. <laughs> Okay. Good day. Jeez, I gained quite a bit of experience in this episode. Combine some stuff here. Doesn't look like it. Ah, yes, I do. There we are. I don't think I have any more of those. needed to make a little room for now. I can always make more later if I need to. Okay, let's get back out there, pick that stuff up, and find the waypoint so I can get this one done with. Because I am... Honestly, I'm ready to go to sleep. Ah, what do you know? The waypoint's right there. Good, I didn't have to go back and find it somewhere. I'm so happy that I didn't have to go back and search this place for it. Okay, we're almost done with Act 5. Yes. Good afternoon. Well, I'm actually just going to keep that gold. Afternoon. I'm not going to go and gamble it all away this time.
But that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.